Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and this weekend, today, you know, through this pandemic, uh, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft lately, so sort of taking a break from my usual how I do things, and we're gonna see if we're gonna start a new game of Minecraft here, and uh, I don't know, we'll see where it goes. Nothing really written in stone, and if it is, we'll just mine it, plant a new one, and write over it. Something to that effect. Uh, okay, so let's go into our profile here. Um, I've sort of made my sort of created character. One of the things I liked, uh, I think it was around the time when uh, Mojang made uh, Minecraft Earth. Microsoft, I guess. I don't know. Um, they sort of had the little character creator, so I sort of made it close to my own style. And well, you do get some selection of clothes and whatnot. Um, what I sort of enjoyed is sort of unlocking sort of the clothes uh, from achievements and whatnot. So there's a couple of things that you earn. Uh, for doing sort of simple stuff. I think the view achievement here is uh, Punch a tree and so you get a block of wood pops out that gets you the checkerboard uh, Shirt which you know tends to be more my style than any of the other stuff. I uh, I sort of see in the shop that you can spend money on because you know I'm Canadian But getting back to Minecraft here, so so that's my little character guy. Not that you'll see much of him during the game, but let's get things started. So I'm going to create a new world. been playing since the nether update happens, I don't know, several months ago. So we'll create new, uh, we'll create a new world, uh, and because I am lame like that, Perfect. Uh, survival. We're going to go no normal difficulty. I usually do easy. Don't hate me. Um, but since I'm doing it, I want to make it a little bit more interesting. So we'll go normal. Um, I do show coordinates because it um, tends to be a little bit easier just to have it always up and on. Especially when mining. We'll get to that momentarily. Make this a multiplayer game, uh, and I have okay. I want to use a shader on this only because it tends to be a little bit more atmospheric. Um, I do use the sort of updated texture pack for Minecraft, so just basic. There's to accept. Okay, oh, that's fine. All right, uh, I think we got everything needed, so let's get into it. I like the shader. You'll see it, it casts more shadows. It sways the, the uh, foliage around, um, and it tends to make caves a lot more spooky. If I wasn't using a tech uh, shader, I'd be able to go into a cave. I wouldn't even have to use any um, torches. Maybe my brightness is up a little bit more. But we're spawned in. And we got a little bit of planes. So we got a nice cow over there, but ultimately we need some sheeps. I think that is our first animal goal of this. Uh, ultimately our first goal once spawning into our world, hello Mr. Big, uh, is to survive. So let's see if we can do that. Uh, so when you first get in, you have nothing to your name but the shirt on your back and a piece of wheat in your mouth. Uh, so let's go get some wood. Because wood will drive everything going forward. And we're just going to put 
punch our way into this tree. Yeah, I've been playing Minecraft because of the pandemic and all the misery in the world. I tend to go a little bit less, you know, didn't want to get, you know, too heavy into games that are sort of, I'd say, um, you know, stressful, I guess. Um, I can go into Minecraft. I can fish, I could mine, I can farm, do all sorts of easy stuff, and it just sort of eats away for a couple hours. Um, in my uh, other world that I've been playing, it's uh, getting there. I still haven't done a lot in Minecraft. It's been out for 10 years. Um, I haven't actually beaten the game yet, so there's that. don't know if we'll get around to beating the game, but you never know. Uh, I gotta get some more wood blocks. Uh, and then you may hear the controller. I am playing on my phone. I've gotten the mobile version or pocket edition of Minecraft. It's still using the Bedrock edition, so that's always good. Uh, but I don't like the on-screen controls, so I've opted to use the um, Bluetooth controller that I use for for my phone, uh, and it tends to work pretty well. Oh, Mr. Bunny, you live for now. Yeah, lots of flowers. All right, so let's go into our crafting area. Uh, we don't have a crafting table, so that will be our first on the agenda. Um, we can turn these logs into planks. Uh, so I usually click on the white button and it just does everything in one full swoop. Uh, first thing on the agenda, press the A button to get a crafting table. Boom. Uh, and we'll need some sticks, so we'll get a couple of them going. May need some more wood, so maybe another tree or two, and then we should be good. Uh, once we get enough wood, uh, we need to find coal because that will heat our furnaces and light our torches. So it's an important resource to get early on as well because when it becomes night, it gets dark, and then the monsters come out. All right, so let's get everything into our blocks of wood. I'm gonna put it on our crafting table only because we need to get a pickaxe. Uh, let's move that. And then we'll pick up our crafting table and go. So we'll head to some rock. I knew there was some mountain that we spawned at, so let's go back there. Still have yet to see a sheep. Uh, we do need some food. All right, seeds right off the get-go. Um, seeds will become important because we need to grow hay to either feed animals or make um, bread. Bread out of <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. What do you use wheat for? Oh, you make bread. All right, we make bread. All right. Couple little cave systems. Ooh, spider! Jeez! Alright, fine. Don't jump at me, spider! Alright, well, at least we got some string. We can make a fishing pole or we can make a bow. And I th probably, this early of the game's fishing pole is probably our better of the two choices. Fighting at range is not necessarily a priority when uh, you're naked and alone in the plains of the blocky world. So we're just going to get some cobblestone. I haven't still seen any coal. So, oh, no, no. Uh, that 
is a different block altogether. So at least if we keep with the cobblestone, we'll get our basic tools down. 23, that should almost do it. All this rock in my pocket, what am I gonna do with it? I'll tell you what. Uh, first on the agenda, we are going rock sword, stone sword, uh, then a stone pickaxe, yeah, two is fine. Uh, button tends to stick a little, so it usually creates two of something that I don't want. Uh, and then we'll get our hotbar in order, so sword, pickaxe, uh, apple will be useful later. using the wood until it breaks. It won't be long now, but we are actually doing pretty good. Uh, what we need now is to find coal. The coal is not overly hard to find, unless of course it's day one and you're trying to find it. So, uh, hello Mr. Cow. Good morning, Mr. Cow. Animals are a good source of food, so you know what? I'm not going to pass it up since he's there. Oh, and I almost forgot the most important thing. Take our crafting table with us. Alright, let's check this. Oh, come on. Where's the coal? That's what I mean. Like, it's too dark. I can't see in there. Ah, sheep. No, chicken. Will you be my friend? And by friend, I mean <coughs> dinner. Uh, ooh, lots of chickens. All right, well. How much cobblestone do I still have? 15, so I have enough for a furnace. And the furnace will cook my food, provided I get coal, sheep. All right, two sheep. Good, and they're both white. Sheep are important because their wool creates beds. Two, need one more. One more wool. Oh, hi. Is it just me or do sheep's faces have the most derpiest look to them? Derp. Goodbye. All right. All right. Uh, we're doing well. Let's put the seeds out of the way. Uh, we're going to put our... So what we need to do, like I said, we get a furnace and we have a bed. So we can survive the first night. The last thing I need is coal, and that sun is going down. Oh, that sun is going down. Let's go this way. Oh, those are horses. We're not going to kill the horses. We like the horses. Yeah, more mountain region. Should be able to... Yep, there it is. Coal. It's our last little bit of something that we need. So, not doing too shabby. Alright. There goes the sun. We'll make ourselves a little bit of torches just to get past the first night. Come on, let go of the... And last thing, not very conventional, but you know what? We'll do what we do. Make a bed and sleep in it. As long as there's no no monsters nearby, we are in the clear. All right, good. Get our bed back and we continue on. So let's get the rest of this coal. Maybe a little bit more cobblestone just so that we have it. And 
more cows and chickens. So not too shabby at all. Nice to start a game and then just sort of say, hey, can I make it through the first day or two? Can I not die immediately after spawning into my new world? And the answer is yes. Hello, Mr. Cow. No. Time to die. No. Cows will become a valuable resource later, but for now, they are just needed for sustenance. As are you, Mr. Chicken. Oh, lots of cows. I'm wondering if I should just set up base here in this particular binome. Binomes are sort of the things, the areas that you sort of explore. So you got like a little bit of a plains binome here leading into a mountain um, spruce area, I guess, that way. Um, more mountains off that way. Uh, the other world that I was playing in, I set up shop in a nice savanna binome that was sort of border to more planes. Oh no, this will do nicely. I got many types of wood here. I got mountains so I can go start mining. Animals are fruitful, so you know what? Maybe I will make this area my home. So the next step will be to sort of make our house. More coal. Might as well get coal while we can because, like I said, it's you always use coal. You're always cooking. You're always lighting the way. So, get it. <laughs> My axe broke. That's the way it's going to be for a bit. These tools are not meant to be used for the long term. Get down here. Collect all the good stuff. Cool gives you experience too, which also will play a factor the deeper in you get. Oh, lots of coal. Keep getting more coal and we'll have some stuff in our inventory. <laughs> Nothing personal, I swear. Hmm. Need, need a big portion of land. I think if I clear this space out, it should do nicely. I sort of like this tree here. Like I said, it, it's sort of in the middle of everything, so it might work well as far as... Um, yeah, so I can dig up those dirt blocks to fill in that space. Because uh, after building a house and getting yourself sort of situated in the world then you got to worry about like building a farm building of you know crops and livestock and whatnot um, going in for mining because the next resource on our checklist will be iron so let me we're gonna just sort of blitz through this little section of clearing and once I erect my house we'll uh, well, I'll be back.
took a little bit longer than I wanted to, but that's fine. Uh, enough room to give us our starter house. So we will start there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. It's just like a small starter house, and I tend to keep things compact. I like to. Uh, Never, well, you know, I made a medium-sized house once. It was a lot of work. Uh, it looked great at the end. But you know what? I always stick with uh, tired and true. So let's get that going. Clearing the land with my oven. It's getting dark again. Let's see if I can't... Uh, not leather. Let's see if I can't lay down this structure at least. Oh, come on. It won't be cobblestone for long. Um, I am sort of digging, digging, ha ha ha. Um, sort of making this a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, I guess you could say. Uh, I guess the biggest question is where do I want the front and side to be? So front will be there. <laughs> now that I ran out of cobblestone. All right, so yep, go to bed. I have to get more cobblestone to get the rest of my foundation going. Uh, also need some wood, but we'll get that in a moment. Let's just head back up here for more stone. house, or at least what will become of our house. Oh, too much. Like I said, these buttons tend to stick a little. don't know why. It's a little bit annoying when they do, but... Okay. Well, one, and then two. And one more for that. Uh, furnace is going to go in there. Okay, so now we can start got lots of raw beef, so at least not too worried about, like I said, food is not going to be worried about once that's in place. And the cows are pretty plentiful here, so can't. Alright, two beef. Oh. Yum, 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 yum. Good. Alright, back to falls. Let's get the rest. We are going to get some wood to get the rest of our house going. So. back to our house. Um, I like to build my house with uh, two types of wood or at least to give it some variation. Um, this is not my own design. I can't remember where I got uh, this house design from. I'm sure from YouTube or a Minecrafter from the internet. But uh, it has worked well for me for several games so I will keep using it. Just putting down the, f the frame here. You, you like to use uh, full logs for the frame. Gives it a nice like log cabin-y type look. Oh, I am I'm short. Right. Uh, and then we'll use the birch for do that. So planks will be going there get some of our walls going. Uh, didn't mean to do that. But <laughs> okay. And torches. All right. Awesome. Need to grab a little more wood. So we'll do that. And 
Uh, do, 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 do. I need doors. No. Mm -hmm. Mm. Nope. <laughs> Didn't mean to throw it around. I'm done with you. Uh, we'll use oak for the doors. It is sort of standard, but uh, you see why in a moment. Just to offset the door color from the wall. Uh, and I'll do something else with. Uh, yeah. Just thinking ahead how to make my house a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Uh, but just need a little bit more wood. And I am in a little bit of a hurry just to sort of finish my house and sort of wrap up this episode. I will replant the trees. I'm a little bit uh, um, uh, obsessive compulsive with that. And I always try and plant as much as I take. So everything is sort of, um, you know, um, renewable and all that. All right. So let's uh, 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 get back up here. more. Go back to our upper. Okay, frame is done. So we can get the rest of that. And now that the walls... Right, the roof is going to be birch now too. Okay, so how many birch... It might almost do it. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's, I need that because I actually do make a chimney. And let's get some dirt going here. Because the dirt will be sort of my ladder for getting up to, oh, come on. It won't be so hard to get in and out once everything's in place, I assure you. So. Uh, dunk, 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 uh, dunk. Just need to get it up to the roof. I said up to the roof. And then I can start laying down. Alright, so chimney will be that. Some more birch there. I'm not usually a big sort of like big builder type person when playing Minecraft, unfortunately. Uh, I am capable of building as, as far as like following a plan and whatnot. And I do learn when, uh, when I see cool stuff either from other people or whatnot. Uh, so you'll see what I mean when I get this finished. Uh, one thing I do do is wherever my story, side door is coming out, so I have a three part um, a three part uh, roof, I guess you could say. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Sort of mess that up. And dunk, is that right? Looks a little bit right. Uh, Sorry, it's still okay. You know what? Get that back because I actually use the blocks here. It's getting dark again. All right. I think everything up on top of the house is taken care of. People who play Minecraft say that, you know, you gotta have sort of, n nothing can be sort of squarish. So that's why I just tend to go with the overhangs. Let's get rid of the night. We still haven't seen many monsters. We fought that one spider and that is good enough for now, but trust me, it's gonna get, uh, it's gonna get a lot scarier soon. 
So we're almost done here. We'll need some glass for windows, but like, I mean, we can take care of that later. Just get the main thing going here. Not need more. I think we're done with the blocks, so it doesn't really matter now. And there we go, the roof. So arch there, arch there, arch at the front. I consider that the front and then straight on the side. Nice, simple design. Uh, so we're good there. And the last thing I want to try and do, let's get some chests underway. And, and the cobblestone stairs, although said all the cobblestone you'll see here is going to get replaced but for now we are ooh, you know what? I missed one minor thing which we'll get to in a moment but the stairs were just for lining around the outside of the house like so uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. all right my chests chests are used for storage so we'll start our storage one and two. You can fit them side by side to make the chest bigger for, for now. It's fine. And oh, one last thing, cobblestone wall. Because, like I said, just trying to make everything look nice. Go back to my chimney here. Bonk. There. So we'll get rid of our dirt stairs. All right, it's a pretty good start. Oh, one more stair. There we go. So there's our starter house. And it'll probably be our mid-game house as well. You'll see how I expand to it. But not so bad. We survived our first couple of nights in Minecraft. We got our basic supplies. We got good sort of areas to exploit by strip mining and we'll have our our beef and leather enterprises before you know it and our farm we need, we need more seeds uh, and that will probably be the next episode we'll start our sort of farm growing um, we also will need to start fencing up the area hello mr chicken uh, because that needs to keep uh, the hostels away. Um, if you've played any Minecraft, you know its signature creature, the Creeper, and it is its sole purpose in the game is to make a mess of everything that you do. So we need to protect against it. But for now, we'll sort of leave it at that. So. Thanks for watching. This has been Shin Virtuality, and if you want to see me do something in this world in Minecraft, then drop me a comment and let me know. Um, I'm eager to play more and to see where this adventure leads. Uh, until the next time, guys, have a good one. I'll see you soon.